All right, now we're looking at the Rode Broadcaster microphone. I think that this is an exceptional microphone. Uh, if there is one thing that I need to that you need to be aware of is that it does pick up nearly everything. So this is why I do recommend buying one of these muffs for it. Um, essentially, it will do whatever you need it to do because it will pick up everything that you need to with your own voice. I think it picks up nearly everything that I need to with my own voice, but you do need to be aware of plosives. You do need to be aware of uh, DSing. You need to be aware of how you place the microphone, etc., etc. And uh, I do think that this microphone is a great microphone, although you may not want to start with this microphone. You may want to start with something like I mentioned in my last video, such as the uh, Shure PGA 48. You might want to start something like that at first because um, it's actually rather competitive if you're going to do voice work. I should have known that going into it. But essentially, um, why I bought this mic is I wanted a leg up when it came to picking up the natural aspects of my voice. So this is why I bought the Rode Broadcaster microphone. It's great for an in-studio setup. It doesn't need a whole lot of gain since it runs on 48 volt phantom power. And I believe that it works rather well. So I hope that you think about looking into the Rode Broadcaster microphone. Um, I see it being compared to the Shure SM7B. I don't currently own an SM7B, but if you have one, I would love to see the comparison side by side if someone were to own both of them. But essentially what I have is I have one cheap $40 mic, which is the PGA 48. And I have one expensive mic, which is the Rode Broadcaster. And do I notice any difference? I do notice some difference, but you still need good practices when it comes to these microphones. You can't, you know, you have to understand proximity effect. You have to understand how your voice works. You have to be careful about how you breathe into the mic. You have to, you know, you have to have good technique, essentially. It's kind of like having the best paints that Michelangelo had. You're not going to be Michelangelo unless you practice, practice, practice with those same tools. So that's just the truth of it. So um, let's see. Do I recommend it as a buy? Yes. If you have the money, if you have the means, I highly recommend getting the Rode Broadcaster. It is an awesome microphone. I'm using it constantly. It is being used for ACX. Um, if there are any negatives, like I said, it probably picks up nearly everything. So you have to be careful of your gain, but I do think that this is a worthy choice for you. If you decide to choose it, um, they're not super rare. In fact, they've been around since the seventies, but in order to find them, they might be a little rare to find. But in the end, I do think, um, that this is a solid choice. And I think that this mic will basically pick up every part of your vocal range that you need. Um, is there anything else I'd like to add? This currently goes for a little over $400. Um, I say it's a buy. Buy it.